through networking. How many of you know networking isn't just about finding a customer? If I have one person, more person say to me, hi, my name is Anne, and I'm a coach, and I'm looking for people who need life balance. I know you need clients and customers. Network for relationships, right? It's a bigger picture of what you do. We met through a relationship. And when she called me and asked me about potentially speaking, I said, first of all, i got to tell you, girlfriend, I grew up in the poor, a poor, really poor neighborhood, and I love hustle. <laughs> I'm like, I firmly believe that the success of my business since 1998 is all about hustle. How many of you know you got to hustle? Yes. Right? You've got to hustle. You can't be watching Oprah when you're trying to run a business and have it made money. Record it. Do it later. Okay? I don't have time to watch Oprah. I'm hustling, trying to make my money. So I want to share with you here, ask you some questions, show of hands. How many of you in these last few days have met some really amazing people? Yeah, like some of you are going to say no to that question. <laughs> Nobody. How many of you have made some great connections that you plan to follow up with after this weekend? Yeah. How many of you have found product that you'll probably buy? How many of you found product you might not buy, but you know people who would love it? Okay. Now, here's the interesting thing, though. What you just did to do that is what you have to do on social media. And what most people do is they go get onto Facebook or they go get onto Twitter and they put on this different hat, right? And they become this person that we all hate networking with live as well as online. You guys know the people I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I'm coming down there a minute. You guys know this person, right? Hi. What do you do? <laughs> Don't you love that person networking? Yeah. Then you see them on Facebook. What are they doing? They're shoving their stuff at you. They make friends with you on Facebook, and then what do they do? They post their Facebook business page on your personal profile and tell you to come like it. Do we? Right? <laughs> just like, we just became friends, and now you want me to what? <laughs> I'm confused. Can we get to know each other first before we start liking stuff? Right? Absolutely. Or how about this? How about the person that comes to the networking event and says, Hi, I'm Ann. You are? What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? You're already scared. Play with me. Hi, Valerie. You know what, Valerie? I can't stay. Will you hand out my brochures to everybody? Go away. Right? You can toss this on the table. There's a section. How many of you know these people that come into the networking events, right? And they put their flyers and brochures on everybody's tables and seats, and they leave them in the bar, and they put them over here on this table. You know, all you're doing is spamming people. And then you go on to Facebook, and you become that person. Don't do that, right? I have to tell you that part of what really excited me about being here in these couple of days is the fact that I met women who think like me. And I listen to the women on the stage and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's what I say to my customers. Oh my gosh, that's what I tell my clients. Oh my gosh, that's what I tell my other radio fans. And what is that? It's about building relationship. And I got news for you. When you get onto Facebook, when you get onto Twitter, when you get onto LinkedIn, it is about building relationship. Don't be that person that's sizing up whether or not somebody will buy for you. Because I might be the person who knows who will buy from you. Even on Facebook. Right? And if you're not willing to build relationship with me, you don't want to know my network. 